I am Anil Kumar. Let me thank all the participants of our WhatsApp group who are taking keen interest in posting questions and providing solutions. Here is one of the questions from the group. A rectangle is cut on its four corners to form a regular octagon. If the dimensions of the rectangle is 8 cm by 6 cm, find the perimeter of the octagon. Four choices are given to you. You may pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. So this question basically is based on Pythagorean theorem. So let's uh, make a sketch of a rectangle. Let us say this is the rectangle whose dimensions are 6 by 8, right? So now if I cut the corners to form octagon, then it could be something like this. This will be shorter, that will be longer, right? So, so something like this, when we cut, we could form an octagon, right? So this may not be so exact, but anyway. So assume that this is an octagon, which has all equal sides and all equal angles. So I'll just make it like this. So it's a regular octagon, okay? We need to figure out the perimeter of this octagon. So let each side length be A units. So that means this is A, this is also A, right? Now if you look into it, if you look into one corner, let's say this corner, then this side will be how much? Well, half of it is 4 and half of a. So it could be 4 minus a by 2. Right? On this side, this corner, the dimension of that cut corner will be 3 minus a by 2, right? Since this side is a and the total is 6. And the hypotenuse will be a since all the sides are a units long, correct? So using Pythagorean theorem, we can actually solve this particular question. So every corner is a right trying right right angle, right? So what we get here is square of these two, sum of square of these two should be a square. So we get our equation 4 minus a over 2 whole square plus 3 minus a over 2 whole square should be equal to a square. There's only one variable and we can always solve for it. So you can actually pause the video, answer this question, and then check with my solution. So when you expand this, you get 16, that is a square minus 2ab. So minus 2 times ab gives you 4a plus a square by 4. The expression of this will be 9 minus 2ab, so it gives you 3a plus a square by 4 equals to a square, right? So simplifying by combining the like terms, we get 16 plus 9 is 25, minus 4a minus 3a is minus 7a. a square over 4 plus a square 4 means 2a square over 4 or half of a square and that should be equal to a square. Now we can take all the terms to the right side and then solve. We get a quadratic equation, right? So we get this as a square minus a square by 2 plus 7a minus 25, right? Uh, let's multiply. So this is like a square by 2, right? So it is a square by 2 plus 7a minus 25 multiplying by 2 we get 0 equals 2 we'll just double each number right 7 times 2 is 14 so we get 14 a minus 50 so this is the equation which you need to solve it's a quadratic equation now clearly we have square root of 11 or square root of 7 in the options that means it cannot be factored so easily. 
So we'll use the quadratic formula to find the value of a, right? So that gives you a as equal to minus b, which is minus 14, plus minus b square, 14 square, minus 4a, 2, uh, 4ac. a is 1, so it is like 4 times 500, which is 20, right? And minus minus makes it plus divided by 2 times a, which is 2 for us, right? So that's what you get. So we can say this is minus 14 plus minus square root of uh, 14 square is 196. So we get 196 plus 200 over 2. A bit of calculation here. Minus 14 plus minus. And that is 396, right? Over 2a. Now let's try to factor 396. Uh, it seems 11 is a factor of it. So if you add 3 and 9, or 396, I wrote 369, sorry. 396. So if you add 3 and 6, it is 9. So it is a multiple of 11, right? So you could think about writing this as, if I divide by 11, it is 11 times, 11 times 3. Let's write it in brackets. 33, 66 is 36, right? So you get 11 times 36. And that gives you the answer as minus 14 plus minus. Of course, we'll have to take plus only since A has to be greater than zero, right? It is positive, so we'll take plus only. Uh, 36, six can be taken out, right? And we get 11 here, divided by two. So what we get here is minus seven plus dividing 6 by 2 is 3, square root of 11. Right? So that is the dimension A. We need the perimeter, right? So we can now write down the perimeter. So our answer will be perimeter will be 8 times minus 7 plus 3 square root of 11, right? So that is 56. We have 56 in these two. Square root of 11, 8 times 3 is 24. So we get option B as the right option. Okay. So these are the steps involved. I hope the solution is absolutely clear. Feel free to write a comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.